I hate tanks. Absolutely hate them. I think that they're garbage. They're really hard to wick. Usually really bad flavor too. So I really wanted to get into a tank just for like the convenience. And I thought, you know, there's been so much hype with this gear RTA and Graham and folk art both convinced me to get it. <clears throat> Look how fucking small it is. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, come on. That's a Hadley. That's a Hadley. That's a gear. I know this isn't a new product. Everybody's been talking about it for some time, but it's, it's really, really impressive how you can get something this small. It's not a ton of juice capacity. I think it's only something like two mils, but that's like, that's like perfect for me. You know, I like being able to switch up the juice every once in a while. Cause yeah, I like to, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rip through like, a fucking 10 mil tank i'd buy more rtas an art man uh like rdts or whatever they were if they had lower juice capacity like the smaller I, ones i'd buy a lot more of them if they did is it is it easy to re weak i think it's very easy to build on i mean uh I've, i'm showing some pictures here. i'm trying to i'm trying to find one that's got a good view of the of the build deck but i can't really find it well, right I use now. hyper hyper threaded uh gargoyle hoof coils so it's a little hard to get in well, I can so. see that if you're using something that's like really, really thick wire or, I mean, it's, it's geared, <laughs> it's geared definitely towards somebody who's got like round wire for me is my build. So it works very well for me. I just throw a six wrap spaced 24 gauge can thaw. It fits perfect. I mean, I don't have to play around with it at all. And then wicking it is so easy. I I have not had a problem with wicking. It's it's never leaked. It's never given me a dry hit. I can always see um, the bubbles coming up and everything. It's it's really like the perfect design for me. I I think, and that's not even just touching on the flavor. The flavor is absolutely top notch. Oh yeah, it's it's absolutely the best flavor i've ever got from any uh tank rta anything it really surprised me i i actually purchased mine uh to do some some testing for some commercial e-liquids uh just to see what other people would would you know what, what kind of flavor they would uh they would taste in some of my mixes if it was if they were using some kind of uh tank or something and I thought that it would not have that good of flavor, so that would be a good reference for me. But the flavor was so good, it's I can I can't use it for that because most people are not going to have a tank that tastes this good. Oh yeah, no way, yeah. no way. That's like the top of the line. I mean, it really is it, it doesn't get much better. Yeah, is it similar to an RDA in that way? In the Very close. It pretty is, fucking much. Yeah, it pretty is so close. Much. If you do have this, the biggest drawback for a lot of people is that it's only like two mil capacity even with the bubble tank like whatever i think it's only like four or something like that but to me that's like what grant said it's like a pro because i can yeah. switch up the juice to like a similar profile like i'm rocking the peach slushy on here and after this i might throw like a candy in here or another peach type recipe and it just, I just I'm a I'm a huge fan of that. The two mil capacity for me is not a drawback at all. If any, no. huge benefit, especially for it, DIYers. It is every bit as good as the Citadel, the Entheon. Mm -hmm. I, that's a bold statement, and I know that, but I use it. I kind of like that somewhat restrict restriction, like that that restricted airflow. I really yeah. like that. It is very very close to the Hadley. Sometimes I'll put it like a little bit more than halfway, some, but, but most of the time I'm rocking it just like completely full open. And it's not like most tanks where it's like, you know, breathing through a straw or anything like that. Like it's, it's not super loose. It's not super tight. It's hey. not turbulent. It's, it's just perfect. Well, and it's, and you know the, the airflow is so adjustable too. I leave mine about, um, I don't know, a third of the way open. And it's got plenty restrictive airflow on it. 
wide open, it's too it's too open for me. But yeah. that's that's the beauty yeah. of it. you can you can set it to whatever you want to. Um, and it doesn't get turbulent. No, no matter where you put it, it's just really really smooth. Mm-hmm. And I th- I think I got this for like twelve bucks. I think it's usually around like twenty or something around that price range. And fuck, I I, I want to buy another one. 